Hi, we're Finding Favor. And you're watching 117 TV. Blake, Dustin, Josh, and Alan, otherwise known as Finding Favor, and it is great to catch up with you guys. Yeah, it's good to be here. Yeah, Thank so you. let's talk a little bit, since you're kind of new, just got that first single out there, tell us a little bit about your sound and the music. I got a sneak peek, and it's definitely got this really awesome kind of southern vibe. Would that be true? Yeah, definitely. Uh, well, three of us are from, from Georgia, and one of us, uh, Josh, he's from Texas, so we were raised in the south, so that we kind of oh. grew up on on those things and on the story songs and on the emotional songs and I think that's I think we bring a little bit of that to the table when we uh, you know when we stand in front stand in front of people and sing and stuff like that so uh, I, I definitely think we have a little bit of that in our, yeah, so in our my music. ear was uh, very definitive on that southern flavor you've yeah. got going on in your sound that's for sure so you talked about some of the emotion in your song and talk about coming out of the gate with a really strong powerful impactful song let's talk about slip on by and, and the reaction that you're receiving from some of your fans well, The song itself, it, it comes from a real life experience. I wrote it after a fishing trip with my grandfather. And that day I could tell he was going through some things. Uh, you know, I was so excited to hang out with my pa that day. And uh, he was just, he was down and, and I could tell. And, and he looked up at me and he had the grandpa tears in his eyes. And, and he said, son, I, I lost my wife when she was only 53. He said, I lost my son at a young age. And looking back now, there's so many things I wish I could do differently. He said, more than anything, I wish I could just hold my wife right now. He said, I wish I could tell my son just how much I loved him. He said, but the truth is, is I can't do anything about that now. But what I can do is tell you to love your wife, to love your family with everything that you've got. God's given us a precious gift in our family and our friends. He said, don't let a single moment, a single breath slip away from you. He said, don't take it for granted. And I walked away that day and I was like, I've got to write a song about this. You, know, you talk about any artist wants to, to be known and be to maybe catch someone's attention, but you caught the attention of Toby Mac, yeah. which is pretty awesome. And he went as far as to say that that song made him want to live differently, which I know you're hearing from a lot of people when their response is similar to that song. But what did it mean for someone so respected in the music business to take notice of the work that you guys are putting into what you do? For, for me, it was, it was very humbling. Like a lot of people would be like, man, I would have went wild, you know, I would have went crazy. For me, it made me sit down and say, thank you, God, for your plan, for your purposes in our life. Because, you know, if I could have painted the perfect picture of the way I wanted, you know, everything to turn out, the way I wanted it to be in, you know, in our ministry, it would have never been this cool, this great. Toby would have never been in that picture because I, it was it was too much. But God had something beautiful and something amazing planned for us. Of course, now they can hear the single on radio. And you got an EP that's out or coming out soon, right? The EP? Nice. It's out. It's out now. Yeah. Okay, awesome. So go download that now on iTunes, iTunes right? Yes. And um, the single, of course, is called Slip, on, Slip by. on By. And tell me about how they can actually maybe catch you in person because you're on the road with some pretty yeah. cool guys, right? Absolutely, yeah. We're, we're about to go out with uh, the Rhett Walker, Rhett Walker Band in Building 429 and really love the building guys we've toured with them before and they mean a lot to us and and so uh you can catch our calendar we're on facebook twitter instagram all these things um at findingfavor.com and favor is spelled f-a-v-o-u-r yes. kind of like canadians or australians everywhere every other english speaking country in the world spells it o-u-r and so we were like let's Let's, you know, spell it the right way. <laughs> yeah, I like it. I like it. Well, it's so nice to catch up with you guys. And best of luck as you go out on the tour. And congratulations on such an impactful song. Thank you so much. Appreciate it.